What's up guys and welcome to another video. Now if you've ever edited in Premiere Pro, you'll realize that sometimes when you add effects or playing back, it starts to lag a little bit. Or sometimes when editing 4K videos or 6K video, your computer just can't handle it. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that. So let's get to it. So I'm gonna show you a few methods and if those don't work or reduce it only a little bit, I'm gonna show you a method at the end that's guaranteed to work for everybody. So let's get started. So first of all, you have your project here in Premiere. First of all, what you can do is go into the preferences, memory, and over here, you might have your set to like 5 GB. What you wanna do is reduce it to as low as possible. And what that does is gives you the most amount of RAM for Premiere and reduces everything else. Sorry, the RAM for everything else. So that's one way to increase uh, performance and reduce lag. Hit OK. The second thing you can do is go over here and reduce the playback to half, one fourth, one eighth. And that just plays it at a half resolution or a quarter resolution. And that helps a lot with playback and reduces lag. So the last thing you could do is pre-render. This might be obvious to most people, but other people don't know it. So I'm going to mention it anyway. What you do is you can set your in and out point. So we can right click here, mark your end point, and let's go to the end of the clip and mark our out point right here. So we only want to pre-render this area over here. So what we do is go to sequence, render into out. And that renders pre-renders it in the app, in the application. And you can see the yellow bar is going to switch to a green bar, which means it's pre-rendered and it's ready to go. So you can play it back with no lag, you can apply effects, but after you apply the effects, you're gonna have to re-render it again because the bar is gonna turn back to red or yellow. So I'm gonna wait for this to finish and I'll come back. So there we have it, it is done. We can see the yellow bar became a green bar, which means it's pre-rendered. And you can play it back smoothly. You can even play this at full resolution with no lag for most of the time, but I usually set it to half. So now what if you've done all this and you still have lag, what do you do? Well, I'm going to show you how to create proxies. And what that is, is creating a smaller version of your file. So let's say you shot in 4K. The application is going to create a, let's say, full HD resolution file of yours. And you're going to edit on that one. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really quick and easy. First thing, you want to start right when you're creating a project. So what you do is go to ingest settings, click on ingest, and from the drop down menu, press create proxies. Now over down here in the presets, you wanna select a preset that matches your aspect ratio. So let's say you shot at 1280 by 720, whatever aspect ratio that is, you can scale it up to your video size. If you're gonna get, if you're gonna select a wrong aspect ratio, you're gonna have black bars around your video. So I usually go with this one. It matches the aspect ratio and it's the best. Now you can go ahead and hit OK. I've already done this, so I'm going to show you what to do next. So you want to go into assembly and make sure that ingest is selected right here. Now you can select your file, drag it into the sequence. And what you'll notice is the media encoder starts running by itself. And what this is going to do is create your proxies in the background while you're editing. So we'll leave that do its thing. We're going to go to edit. And what you want to do is press the plus button over here and drag the toggle proxies to the toolbar. So you can toggle your proxy on and off through this button over here. So if we go back to the media encoder, we can see that what it did is basically created a smaller version of your file and the status over here is done. So when you go back and toggle the proxy, if you look closely, you can notice that there's a little reduction in quality. It was a little sharper and it becomes a little bit more dull. So it just went from 4K to 720p. And now you can edit as if you're editing 720p video, which is usually a lot lighter on your computer. Put your effects, edit, do whatever you want. And after you're done, when you go render, it's gonna render out at the full 4K resolution with no compromising quality. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you liked what you saw and learned something, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to catch future uploads. If you have any tutorial requests 
or you want to learn anything in specific, let me know in the comment section below. And also follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of cool photos there and awesome places I visit. So follow me over there. And once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah.